Hi there friend, it's Trevor here again. You know, last week I told you that God really loved you. I want to tell you something. His love surpasses anything you could ever imagine. Some of us struggle with performance. Some of us are performers and we look down on the non-performers, say, well, I've got my act together, you haven't. Some of us non-performers are looking at everybody else and thinking, I really don't have my act together. And especially with God. God is probably looking at me and just wanting to reject me. Well, the truth is, God is not looking at you and wanting to reject you. I want to read from Ephesians chapter 2. We're going to be reading from verse 4. It says, But God, who is rich in mercy, because of His great love with which He loved us, even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ, by grace you have been saved. I want to tell you, that's how bad we were off. We were dead in our trespasses and sins, but God's love for us actually raised us from the dead. If you are a performer and you're thinking, well, I've got it all together, it's only because God gave you that gift and gave you the ability to be raised from the dead of your sin. So I want, and you know, sin, by the way, is a word, hamartia, it means imperfection. It means missing the bullseye. Every one of us have missed the bullseye. And so God isn't looking for perfectionism. God is looking for people who will just trust Him. In fact, if we carry on and we read from verse 8, it says, For by grace you have been saved through faith. That not of yourselves. It's the gift of God. Not of yourselves. It's the gift of God. Why? Not of works. Verse 9 says, Not of works, lest any man should boast. It's the gift of God. In verse 10 it says, We are His workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. You know that as you begin to realize that God loves you and you don't have to be perfect and you don't have to perform, you start enjoying a life where God lives in and through you. And then you begin to do the good works without even trying. God does the good works through you. I want to encourage you and I want to pray for you right now that God truly loves you. Father, I pray that you would show your love to each and every child. Lord, each and every person, each and every man and woman. Father, that we would know the love of God that passes knowledge, that we would know that we were once dead in our sin, but because of your love for us, you saved us, you've delivered us, you've put us into your kingdom. And Lord, that you have created us for good works, which you prepared before we were even born. In Jesus' name, bless my friends, Lord. Amen.